Boy, it's hot up here. I would say it's upper 70s, no breeze, really humid, I'm sweating. Well, welcome back to Rolling Hills Farm MN. It's a breezy, warm, perfect day for uh, round baling and square baling. We've got uh, hay down on two fields, and so we're gonna try out the new uh, Holland uh, uh, Devil Rake, Pro Cart Rake, and uh, uh, see if it meets, meets expectations. And we'll be baling today, round baling and square baling. So it's gonna be a big day. Yeah. But we finally have uh, enough hay on these fields that we're going to get decent windrows after two years of not enough hay. Yeah, these are perfect sized windrows for round bale. Uh, it's because the hay is too heavy down here. Well, that's really dry hay. It's uh, ready to bale now. We'll have this raked in uh, uh, no time with the double rake. And uh, uh, I'll do this middle section double raked with the uh, old bar rake. And we'll be baling an hour from now, hour and a half from now. Well, it's uh, after lunch, and we've got the baler out. This is the new, uh, new to us, uh, 450 New Holland uh, Silage Special. You can see it's got the crop cutter that uh, chops up hay going in, and the mega wide pickup. So it's quite a baler as far as volume. It'll really go fast. We don't have a lot of hay here. Uh, at the same time, Dawn's bringing over the John Deere square baler and she's going to make a load of square bales for the horse because this is some really nice Timothy. All right, so we're making the very first round bale of the season. strong windrows so I shouldn't have to weave very much and hopefully I'll remember how this all works because I haven't run a round baler in a year and I, and I think I remember how it works I'll put you guys over there It says it's close to being full. And that says it's full. Back up.
bale number one. All right, so I'm going to take a second off the round baler, and Don's going to get the square baler going here because you always break a few bales when you make your first ties with this baler. So we want to make sure everything's working good so she can just keep baling and I can go back to round bale. So the first bale did not tie. This looks like really nice hay. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're still a little heavy? Yeah, they're, they're getting better, but another five. Okay, I'll take care of it.
down in the uh, bottom of the valley where the grass is really tall, I uh, take it down a gear uh, just because it's pretty thick. It's uh, uh, right up against my uh, the wind guard on the front of this uh, mega pickup. And so I, uh, I still want to plug up on the underside of the tractor and make a mess. So when I get in those areas, I go down a gear, uh, but then when I'm out in the open field with normal windrows, I'm up at about six miles an hour with this uh, uh, tractor. So it's it's burning through the hay pretty fast. Uh, we won't out, be out here very much longer round bailing, but I haven't seen the neighbor yet. Uh, his hay is still raked, and I don't see him out on the bailing. So I have a feeling he may be having some mechanical problems. I may be going over to help him finish off his field too. Bales just keep coming, and look at this. The floor is all messy now. After all that grade A sweeping, the floor is messy again. But we're getting a pile growing. I have to put you guys somewhere where you don't tip over. Boy, it's hot up here. I would say it's upper 70s, no breeze, really humid, I'm sweating. Could be 80 up here. There, that's 110 bales in that stack right there. Next to the straw, next to a bottle of water. So that's square bale hay and for tonight, only putting up one load. I'm sure plenty of people will say, uh, uh, comment how many loads they used to put up in a day or probably still do, but uh, uh, working alone in 70 degree heat, uh, just the two of us, uh, this is a good day's work, especially since we started the morning over there. Well, you can't see it. Tearing shingles off our old garage. 
So we were at it early this morning, um, trying to beat the heat of the day. So I'd forgotten how much work that is, peeling shingles off an old roof. So there it is for now. Thanks for watching. We'll uh, see you when we have some more work to do.